Olivia did it again, you guys. She's been up since two o'clock this morning. I slept a little bit on the chair for a few minutes that she fell asleep, but shh, it wasn't very much. So we're up doing all the things already. One of you mentioned that your daughter did this for a couple years and you're making me really nervous that maybe this is gonna be a thing. The past couple nights she's actually slept really well and I've noticed that it just makes me more and more nervous <laughs> that the day was coming that she would be up really super early and I would not get to sleep. Ooh, that day was today. So, Past couple times I kind of forced myself to just get up and get doing stuff. Today I was really tired. I didn't really do anything. It's really stormy looking outside today. So today just might be a kind of lazy, <laughs> quiet day because mama's tired. I'm gonna go ahead and go make a cup of coffee and uh, I guess start breakfast or something because we're up and ready to go. It's okay, Pickle. Shh. So I think we figured it out. Olivia is not feeling very good. And she just started crying and going, Chee, Chee. So her sweet sister, Lily Bee, went and got our poor sick Ollie. So we, a Chee, Chee. I got one of the big ones, and then I was like, that's not a Chee, Chee. I'm too heavy, so no. Oh, your cat's in here. You need to be careful. Hold on, because your cat's here, Lil. You got a Chi Chi. Okay. Lucy, no eating the no, Chi Chi. Don't poke her eye. They already probably did that with she was with the Did make you feel better, Bunny? <laughs> that kid loves her chickens. <laughs> oh, it's okay, my bud. Don't do that to the poor Chi Chi. Cat, cat's like, what the heck is going on? Lucy. What's going on, Lucy? What the heck? What the heck is this? It looks yummy. Feel like a vegan. You feel better now, bunny. Yeah, um, you can down, go and eat. I don't know. See, I love cats. I gotta. Yeah. You feel better, Ollie Bunny. Oh, careful with the cheeks. She was like, bait her day. She's been watching Mom. Oh, careful with her wings, see? See, that's a bone up there. Yeah, Chi Chi. Chi Chi, Chi, -chi okay. doesn't know she's that. She's like, what the? Hey, leave the uh, fauna. Yeah, be careful with fauna. Hey, mom, give her the cat Chi -chi. one. Okay, so you can do a super book or nice allegory. Chi -chi. While we wait. Nice. Zoe, you're eating my foot. No, with Oh, one good one. job. Nice Look, she's trying Chi -chi. to do it. Aw, don't do that. Nice. Nice. Chee chee. Okay, she's gonna poop on the floor here in a minute. You feel better, bun. You got a chee chee. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, she already pooped outside. Chee chee. Hey, you've seen dad, dad, mama, and a chee chee. What else does she want? Nice. Nice to the chee chee. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dog is over here she going. She gets cured every day. You trying to get my attention, Zoe? Crazy puppy. Gee, gee. Nice, nice. Go better chico. now, Bumby. Is that making you feel better? It won't. She has to keep. Whoa! Nice. Nice, Chi Chi. One finger. Like Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Where's Lucy? Chi Chi. Zoe! I'll keep well, the mystery today, at least for the why is Olivia up at two o'clock in the morning? Is she sick? She doesn't confess <coughs> you. She doesn't feel good. Honestly, I think it's just the pollen, it's the allergies, it's everything just in full bloom right now. It is like a never ending sprinkle of just yellow pollen on everything right now. We are in that season in North Carolina. And so she's just got a runny nose, a little sneezy, just fussy and doesn't feel awesome. 
that make sense for why we've been up for so long and why we're so cranky for the most part. Yes. And also will be the reason why I'm sure I will get nothing accomplished today other than sitting and holding the baby because that is all she wants is some mama snuggles. So I don't know. Again, I had plans of things that I wanted to do with the kids today that I thought would be fun that we would share. Oh, that's a lot of booger. Okay, booger's clean. So we will do lots of snuggles today. I don't know if we'll get anything else honestly really accomplished. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh look, there's the baby Chi-Chi's. You see the babies? They're so cute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out dinner and get it going in the crock pot, um, which at least will make that part of the job today a lot easier. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we'll just snuggle and see how she's doing and what she wants to do, because I don't know. Mm -hmm. We still wanna get Bible study recorded at least, um, and then we'll see what else we get to, but no bueno, not feeling so good, huh, love? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Olivia wanted to go snuggle with her brother. So while she is snuggling with him, I figured I would go ahead and get some lunch going for the family. Um, our lunch that we look forward to the most during this week of unleavened bread, starting with Passover that started last Friday and then going throughout the week, is we love making our little unleavened bread, which usually we make every single day fresh. Um, this year has been a lot more hectic leading into our week that we had it for Passover. We had some leftovers that we ate the following day. And then um, the beginning of this week, we were all just pretty pooped, pretty wiped from all of the chaos and the craziness. And so to be honest, we just haven't really done, I mean, you guys have seen, we haven't really done much of anything too terribly exciting. Um, I asked the kids about making some and allergies are really kicking up. Lily is not feeling so hot. I think Jen just kind of follows after her and so everybody really hasn't had much of an appetite. Um, so we just haven't made any more yet. So I asked the kids if they wanted to go ahead and make some since Olivia actually let me set her down. They're kind of just hanging out, but they, they said they wanted some. They just didn't really care enough to make it right now. But you know my kids aren't feeling well when there's an opportunity to be in the kitchen baking something and they don't jump on it. So that's like a true test around here to tell if people aren't feeling so hot because they were like, eh, can you just make it for us? Which they never ever do. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a quick batch of unleavened bread. Um, the reason why we make the unleavened bread is because the Israelites that were being kept as slaves in Egypt during the time of Moses, when they, Pharaoh finally said that they could go after the Passover, after the angel of death had come upon the land as the last plague. After that had happened, they had to hurry, right? They had to hurry up, we gotta go, grab your things, pack up. Like Pharaoh finally said, we can go, we gotta get. And so the, they made the bread, but they did not wait for it to rise. They just made unleavened bread. And so as a reminder to that happening, every year God says, then take this week and remove all the yeast from your life. Yeast is used as a symbol of sin multiple times throughout scripture. And so this time of just removing all sin from our lives, removing all of the leavened bread products from our lives is a time of reminder for that. And so I found this recipe a few years ago when we started um, doing these different things. And this has been our go-to recipe that we just love. <laughs> it is our absolute favorite. It is super easy and super quick. Obviously, they were making this very quickly to hurry up and get on the road and get out of there. And so the recipe is really simple. What we do is we take a third cup of oil and I just use a pure non-GMO sunflower oil for what we do. And then three teaspoons of honey. We use a local raw honey. And then half a cup of just hot water. Our tap water is really super hot. I just use that. Um, half a cup of milk. I just have an organic 2% um, from Aldi. And then two cups of flour. And I just get the Arrowhead Mills non-GMO organic all-purpose flour. Um, sometimes I use whole wheat, sometimes I use all-purpose, sometimes I do half and half. 
Usually whole wheat is a little too dense for my family. We usually prefer more of like a half and half um, type. Uh, I just pulled out the all-purpose today for sake of ease <laughs> because the the my whole wheat I have, it's a new bag that need to be open. I didn't want to mess with it. So I get all of those ingredients and then I just take a large cookie tray, put a little butter on it just to um, make sure that nothing's sticking. If you if your bread mixture is the properties are perfect and there is enough flour left on it that nothing is sticky, then you probably shouldn't have a problem. I just I slap butter on everything and then it keeps it from, from not sticking. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and whip up a batch of this. You literally, um, you literally whip it up. It's super, super easy. And then you throw it in the oven. I have the oven set at 425. You throw it in the oven seven minutes each side. You just flip it after the first seven minutes, let it go for about another seven minutes, and that's pretty perfect. Pretty quick, pretty easy. So let me show you guys um, just how to whip this together real quick, and then we'll have some unleavened bread. All right, cutting my head off a little bit, but y'all get the idea. Okay, first you just take the oil and the honey. So a third cup of oil. The honey, to be honest, sometimes I get a little liberal with. Sometimes we're not super, super legalistic with our honey because, come on, it's delicious. All right, so a third cup of oil, three teaspoons of honey, and I have no clean dishes. Technically, I do have clean dishes because my dishwasher works now, which is so amazing. So we'll just slap in some honey, especially with the allergies. Having some local raw honey is so good for all of us. Give that one a big old heaping spoonful. Okay. So we're gonna mix the oil and the honey. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of incorporate those two. You also could throw all of this in a stand mixer and just turn it on and that would be ridiculously easy as well. Um, it's such an easy bread recipe though that if you don't have a stand mixer you don't want to haul all of the stuff out or make a bunch of noise because the baby I think finally fell asleep. You just mix it up with a spoon. Super easy. Next we want to do our water and we're going to do half a cup of hot water. So I just turn my faucet on here for a second and let it heat up. Um, you don't have yeast, you don't have to worry about killing the yeast. That's something when you make bread you have to be very cautious of. Um, but just make sure when it comes out you touch it and it's hot. That's really all you're going for here. Alright. That looks good. Half a cup of water. And then half a cup of milk. Alright, and now we're just going to add the flour into this. Quiet. Quiet. Thank you. Yeah, I think the baby wants to sleep, so let's try not to wake up the cranky baby. Alright, I have a little bit of flour left in this bag, so we'll finish this up. And put two cups of flour in. Sure. You also want a little bit of extra flour just to put out on your surface that you're going to knead it on. So you'll want a little extra than two cups. I'm going to just go ahead because that wasn't quite two cups. Eyeballing it here a little bit. Alright, so there's two cups. Just going to take a whisk. Whisk, spoon, whatever you want to use. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty wet dough um, when you get it all incorporated together. Yep. Can I have a scoop to fill up the other one? Hold on one second. See that? Still pretty wet. Pretty wet dough. Can I see? Sure, I'm going to throw an extra little. I'm there, Mom. Yeah. Oh, 
I know you're a bear. You want lots of honey. Extra honey in here too. Wow. Aww, the honey All right. Ooh, it smells like sugar. Okay, a little sugar. All right. It smells so good. You smell all the honey in it. Okay. Well, they're watching the video, so I don't think they can smell the honey. They can't smell it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this for you. I'll start eating all the honey. I got to the honey pot. All right. Not much of that off. Huh? Yeah. Then, so then, still pretty wet, but all incorporated, no big lumps. Why do you, you have chocolate going across your forehead, sweetheart? Now I'm just going to take a scoop of flour. Sprinkle it on. I got Georgia. Sprinkle it on my countertop. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Um, especially when I'm working with the kids. Sometimes I'll do a little extra flour just to help keep it from. Sorry, the lighting is horrible. The light coming in behind me to keep it from sticking all to them. And then I am just going to dump this dough out. Shh, quiet, honey. Out onto the floured surface. Can I help? Hold on. I washed my Now you want to help? Yes, please. I washed my hands. You washed your hands. Good job. All right, let me get all this flour. Okay. See? See? So, see, it's still, still pretty sticky dough as of right now, but. It's like honey and flour. Yeah, that's pretty much. Honey and flour. Put some dough on my fingers, so I'm just gonna rub them together and knock that off. Okay. Okay. Let me fix the camera. Let's see if I can point it down. Y'all can see a little bit better. Can you see that? Is that a little better? Yeah. So I just kind of sprinkle some dough on it. And just kind of work it oh, around. Oh, no, I'll get you some. It's a very soft, very light dough. Incorporate probably another cup or two. Uh oh, we can still paint the vacuum. Oh, oh. Oh. She's going to wake up the baby. What's stuck in the vacuum? All right, so we've got this, just kind of working it all together. Knocking this off of my hands. Oh, now I see, it's like some tack. That's what I thought. Oh, it's some tack. Um, I'll probably go ahead and add just a little more flour because I'm still getting quite a bit, quite a bit sticking. So we'll give it just a little bit more. I got some on the flower bag. All right, go ahead and add a little more. Finish incorporating all of this in. Kind of got some sticking to my countertop, so I'll just kind of take the spatula and knock that back in here. All right, there we go. Now it's just a little sticky just because of what was on my hands, but not nearly as sticky as it was. And now, Gigi, I'm just going to pull all of this together. You want to grab some? Yep, I'll get it. I'll jump. When you're forming it, you can make it as thick or as thin as it's you want it to be. The thinner you well, make it, obviously, the crispier it will be. Me. And the thicker I'm you do it, me. the softer it will be. So kind of up to you in what... You are going for and how you're planning to eat it. Um, if you're wanting it to be more of like a matzo cracker, you'll do it thinner. I usually grab about a fistful. Ah, I still got dough stuck to my fingers. Hold on. Yeah, I still stuck to my fingers. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta rub it all off. Give yourself a wash. It's like wash your hands with dough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wash it all off. See how it, you know we got enough flour there because it's all just rolling Oh, yeah. Right okay. Let me just re-roll this. Hey, See how now it's forming it. a nice dough ball. It's easy to work with. 
Mm -hmm. So that's after adding a couple extra cups of flour kind of into the mix. And I'll sprinkle just a little bit more down for where I'm going to pat these out. Okay. So I usually grab about enough that fits in the palm of my hand. And then we'll just kind of pat it out on the flour. Just kind of shake off the excess flour. You no. see that? Now I'm eating That's about that meat. where ours are at, and then lay it on the tray. It. And then we'll grab another hand dish full. How do I have on you? Again, just kind of fits in the palm of my hand, lay it on the flour, pat it out. Some are bigger, some are smaller, some are fatter, some are thinner. Give it a little toss in the flour to keep it from being sticky. That. By the time I'm done, it comes out being about the size of my hand. I don't have the tiniest hands, but I don't have super huge hands, so that's about where it comes out. Not little. That has big Yeah, Travis hands. has bigger hands than me. We'll sprinkle a little bit more here. I don't think I can get married. You think Travis can get married? Yes, he can get married. Oh, goodness. Do just that and do it. How cool is it? Well, be? he's only 14, so I think we're going to hold off a little bit on marrying your brother. Back off to someone. Well, you have to be older than, way older than 10 to get married, sweetheart. Is that he back then? He is past 10, yes. Is that my father? Yeah, he's 14, so he is four years past 10. All right. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, pat, 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 Because there's so much time spent patting out each of the ones, it's kind of nice to not put all the flour in right away, but to add it in as you go so that way you don't get overly dry. Is this good? Yeah, that looks good. You want to put it on the tray? Yeah. Look at you. You know what? We got one spot left. We'll leave that spot for you. And then I'll work on the rest of this in just a minute. Eat it. All right. Roll all this off my fingers. All right, and now we've got these guys here, and I'm just going to put them in the oven that's been at 425 for about seven minutes. Then we'll just flip them over, cook them for about seven minutes more, and then pull them out and show you. All right, bread is done. I ended up with 10, um, 10 pieces. I need a little peek. That's how they came out. So I've gone ahead and made up little platters for the kiddos oh with some meat and cheese and veggies. That was Lily's. And then I am going to add a piece of bread here to each kiddo's tray. There's only two pieces. Or I'll give you half. Okay. There you go. And that's the one you made. See? So, super easy. Whoops, dropping the carrots. Super easy. Passover unleavened bread. Lunch. Want to come sit at the table? All right. Come sit down. Now everything smells super yummy because there is fresh bread <laughs> in the house opens up can you see super just a little piece um absolutely delicious we use this for our communion when we do communion on passover um and then really do anything with it we've topped it with like pizza sauce cheese and pizza toppings and made little personal pizzas with it um we've eaten it with every meal We've eaten it with like jam on it in the morning, like toast for breakfast. Um, 
I, I think when I don't know, we, we've really eaten it with everything. Sometimes we just come in and eat what's left over just for the sake of eating it because it's really yummy. But super easy, super, I mean, affordable. Anybody could go ahead and whip it up. Even if you're not good at cooking stuff, you and the kids can get in the kitchen and make this. And it's delicious. And it's fun to, to do something to remember the whole purpose of doing this is scripture. Is God telling us to remove the sin from our lives, to look at what the Passover sacrifice of Jesus as a perfect lamb really did for all of us. So to take the time to do that with the kids is really special and really fun, and it's something that our family, I know, looks forward to every single year. So we're going to go eat our lunch and enjoy our unleavened bread. Okay, Bible study done. Brandon and Travis, Lex's husband, have been discussing some ideas where they would like to sit down and dive deeper into the theology behind various mainstream pastors and, and things of that realm. And um, hey, 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 it's okay. Come here. Did she get away from you? She's not listening. We're getting frustrated because this dog. She only listens to Brandon. We're struggling with puppy training. It's okay. We'll get her. I know, honey. It's not that you don't want Zoe anymore. It's you want Zoe to listen. And we're struggling with getting Zoe to listen to anyone other than Daddy. Hi, Turk Turk. Hey, Turk Turk. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, Brandon and Travis are working on some... Hold on one second. Oh, we're... I don't know. I have no plans to do that. Hold on, please. One thing at a time. <laughs> Honey, we just need to work with her to teach her better. Once she learns better, it will be easier and it won't be so frustrating on you, okay? Is she just running and not listening? Yeah. It's okay, girls. Okay. I don't think Turk Turk wants to go for a walk, sweetie. Probably not going to work out so well. Anyways, the guys are going to work on um, breaking down some various things theologically. Um, it's funny, the turkey doesn't want to go on the leash. Anyways, super excited. It, I mean, it's really good, I think, what they're going to do. Um... It's really neat, but it means that Brandon has to, Brandon and Travis both are sitting down and they are selecting specific sermons that are out there with large, you know, viewerships and they are watching them, making notes, looking through scripture, cross-referencing, doing things of that nature to see where these things fall and where they hold up. And um, I don't know if you guys have gathered this about my husband, but his tolerance level for nonsense to put it nicely is like negative zero or no, not negative it's less than zero it's um it's it's really not there you guys um and so he's sitting down trying to watch this and I was sitting there Virginia Carroll you will be in trouble next he's sitting there listening to it right now and I was sitting because we just finished recording Bible study and I was trying to listen for a minute Ugh, I couldn't I was like okay I'm leaving <laughs> that's right exactly and so he's down there anyways trying to to work on that and to listen in and not oh, so much you see the stuff that just comes out oh and people slap God's name on it and it is what a thing to have to answer for so He's working on that. I'm gonna go see Ollie finally fell asleep and she was crashed out for hours. She's so not feeling good. So I'm gonna go in, snuggle her for a little while. And, huh. me. and snuggle my Virginia. And maybe get a few things done. Yeah, you know what, first let's get these roosters some water. We need to take care of these birds first. Come on, look, at <laughs> look at Lily and Zoe up there. All right, the turkey does not want to go for a walk, honey. Walking the chicken. The chicken might go for a walk with you. No, maybe not. 
<laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, guys. We are running to the store because who's out of food? Lucy. Lucy. Lily's cat Lucy is out of food. And then I um I was gonna try to stretch it. Daddy and I are out of toothpaste and I was gonna try to just scrape out of the thing a little bit and apparently the girls are out of toothpaste too so we might as well get some toothpaste Watch and me. get the uh the cat some food Peace. and then get home i was getting ready to make dinner and was just gonna kind of like call it a day i've been up since two o'clock with the baby so well, it was like 2 30 when we got up but um I'm tired and I want to go to bed and I'm ready to have an early night, but um, we've got to run and do this. I hate Tell them about to run out. No, that's weird. You guys are so strange. <laughs> I know we are. So, it, it our sniffing quarter. It, it you know always. She smells things. I don't know. Well, I smell money. You smell money. That's my sniffing money. So we're going to run into the store together real quick to get, oh my goodness, get cat food and toothpaste. I don't know if toothpaste. And get home, make dinner, get home, make dinner, go to bed early because I'm so tired. Um, and praying everybody will get a good night's sleep tonight. Praying everybody will get a good and full night's sleep tonight. Olivia had a rockin' nap this afternoon, and um, I think she's starting to feel a little bit better. You guys with all your poor little allergies, huh? Yeah, well, Pickle doesn't know. Poor babies. But pretty soon Pickle is, and then Travis, and then Dad. And then it's going to be you, and then we're going to have no more allergies. That's how it always works. So, Olivia does seem to be feeling a little bit better. Thank you, Jesus. Um, still just a lot of <laughs> nuck coming out of her poor little nose, but at least it's all draining out. So, praying she will sleep well Pickle stop. tonight. That. And then Mommy can sleep a tonight, fork. which would be super exciting. Where did you get a plastic fork? Uh, it was from uh, Highway 55 when we got that ice what? cream. Remember? Why would they give you a plastic fork? They gave uh, us a uh, it's fork for some reason. Okay. I think it's for my hot dog. <laughs> Um, so we're Chick gonna go home and do that. Filet. Oh, it's from when you guys got Chick fil A Chick -fil -A, a week ago oh. and you had the fruit. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, for hopefully enjoying hanging out with our family. We hope you guys get a go and make some unleavened bread with your family. We love the unleavened bread, huh? Mm hmm. I was just seeing that we were home Boop. watching Rugrats. Mm hmm. So, Stop. thank you guys again. Um, we will be back tomorrow with another vlog of whatever we're doing tomorrow. And um, daily Bible studies going up. We'd love for you guys to join us. I'm excited to be getting back on track with those. Everything, of course, linked down below. If there's anything at all we can do for you, anything we can lift up in prayer, we can help with, please just reach out and let us know. We love hearing from you guys. And we're here to be used to serve whoever God puts in our path. So seriously, if there's anything we can do, just let us know. We're happy to do it. We're going to go get this done. We're going to get home and we are going to go to bed early tonight yes. because mommy is going to fall asleep one way or the other. Uh oh, I, I lost my dollar. Something. Okay, thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Lily has a dollar and a quarter. And a quarter. That I'm going to use for a good ball and buy something at the store. Oh my goodness. And mom's oh. up. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's throw that away. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>